We started down this journey understanding that there were some goals early on in terms of what we wanted to see. We clearly believe that the use of just age and gender as sort of the currency of the business was not really about targeting. That age and gender was a, a substitute for what would hopefully be a better understanding of who the real consumers are. To connect our customers in terms of our, our marketers and their agencies with the viewers and the users of NBCU in a richer way to, to better connect consumers in high quality premium content in, in the best storytelling, the best sight, sight, sound, and motion, and emotion that we can deliver, but do it in a more precise way. So instead of the broad brush of, of age and gender, we can get more discipline, more precise about how we reach consumers. And we started going down that path as to get better at targeting. So targeting itself sort of became that first sort of North Star. And that led us to clearly question about the currency, because if the currency holds you back from your ability to deliver on the promise of better targeting, better data, then we went about thinking, all right, if we need to, to deliver a better price value for our customers, we have to get better and change the currency as well as we get better at the targeting. Now what's interesting is, and, and this is happening so quickly, what we now realize is it's leading to a very different kind of relationship we have with the end user marketer and their agency where now it's more of a data relationship and what that means. So it's so interesting in a very short time in, in, in the history of, of the world of what television and premium video that this path is already getting uh, moving so quickly from simply about better targeting to changing the, the, the business, the legacy business rules of how we transact media to how we avail our inventory, and then ultimately to a very unique and deeper data relationship that we have with our customers. So how do you approach data partnerships differently? So we have clients coming to us now and through their agencies to say, look, we have some incredibly rich first party data. We wanna now make use of that, be able to empower that data to help be part of the decisioning for what media they purchase from us. Now data has always been some part of the ecosystem, usually from a media planning segmentation point of view, but what would happen over the course of the process, uh, the kind of linear process, for, forgive the expression from media plan to buy, a lot would get lost in the translation. It kind of got, it would get dumbed down from being a pretty precise target um, that would be informed by data into just the, the lowest common denominator of age and gender. Now we have the ability and we're seeing that happen with clients, whether it's their first party data or, or reliable third party data, to take the same data set that informs the segmentation that the client is looking for, whether that's for their loyal, loyal guest, whether that's conquesting, whether it's a category definition or a lifestyle definition, whatever they believe informs the true efficacy of their media investment, if that data can flow all the way through to the transaction and exactly what they purchase from us, then we've created a seamless, frictionless marketplace and really redefined the whole ecosystem, which is incredibly exciting. So you folks made, uh, what, a billion dollars in inventory available for uh, audience targeting? How's that going? It's great. The marketplace has really embraced it. Uh, marketers, the agencies see that we're unlocking value. We've always known that, that premium television, premium video has been, is really the best place where advertising creates the gr greatest efficacy, the environment, the brand safe environment of what we do. Uh, what we're now unlocking is taking what we truly believe and have, have proved out is the best advertising environment and making it even better. Because you can be best and still get better. And what the data is and the targeting is, it's making the best better through more precise targeting, better mix of inventory that's reaching against that custom segment. So by availing this billion dollars and we're, we're right in the middle of it and we offer adver any advertiser, any agency that wants to inform their media investment with us through data, whether it's through the optimizations that we do using Comcast set-top box data, all 22 million homes worth of it, 
that's matched in a privacy compliant way with first or third party data, whether it's through that door that they can take advantage of, of the, the higher efficacy and, and the greater precision, that's one way. If not, we do it in a programmatic way where we will avail our inventory to either a third party DSP or directly to a client or agency on a, on a private marketplace basis so they can do the decisioning based on their data. So we want to be agnostic to how it gets done as long as better data, better definition of segmentation informs the buy. We know it will work harder, we know it'll be more effective, and we always believe that if you can improve your product and make it even better, make it work harder, then the money follows. So how do you define programmatic TV? So for us, it's uh, the automation and the data in infusion of things that used to be done in a very packaged, uh, uh, managed process by us based on business rules that haven't changed for decades. Television business has been bought and sold on day part mixes and mirror mixes from the prior year for as long as pretty much any of us have ever been in the business. When you offer something programmatically, and I think we, we struggle with the word programmatic because it in the digital world sometimes that means it's kind of the race to the bottom and it's remnant and it's all that. That's not what we mean by it. We've used that language because the sort of the industry is comfortable with that. When we offer our inventory programmatically, it's everything. It's uh, the, the only, there's only, the only exceptions might be the Super Bowl or the Olympics or the World Cup. Outside of that, you can buy Sunday Night Football programmatically. You can buy This Is Us programmatically. You can buy Real Housewives programmatically. For us, it's the, the data-informed automation and advanced decisioning that is what we're offering. So we're changing the transactional platform and to do it right, to, to increase the full value of that, we have to put it all out there and we're willing to do that.